Happy New Year, everybody. I hope that your 2012 is starting okay. Mine, yeah, so-so. Hopefully, 2012 will be a good year for me. Did you notice the beginning? I have an opening graphic, and it goes by color. Blue, green, orange, and red. Blue means beginner level. So that means Daily Dictation 45 will be beginner level. Green means intermediate. Orange means advanced. And red means expert. Are you an expert? The idea, you should be able to perfectly dictate every sentence I give you within three tries. If you can do that, you're the next level. So daily dictation, within three tries, <clears throat> you are intermediate. Intermediate three tries, you go to advanced. Advanced three tries, you go to expert. So good luck everybody. I hope you all do well. Now, even if you are advanced, I guarantee there will still be things to learn in the basic, the beginner level. So, just because your English is really, really good doesn't mean you should ignore the beginner level, okay? And if you're a beginner and today's lesson is expert, don't worry. Do your best. You can still learn lots of stuff. Okay? Now, before we go to Daily Dictation 45, we need to finish Daily Dictation 44, which was long and difficult. That was expert level. Let's listen again. Dad, I beat you. Don't you remember the Ray Man spin ball? <laughs> Ray, I learned to play in Korea. From Koreans. <laughs> You think some punk kid's gonna actually beat me? <laughs> no, Dad, you were trying to win. You were sweating and panting. I'm a damn fine actor. <laughs> yes, Daily Dictation 44, long and difficult, expert level. It's from the situation comedy, Everybody Loves Raymond. And there were two characters speaking, Raymond and Frank. Frank is the father, the grandfather, and Ray is the son. Ray is about 35 years old, 40 years old, about there. Their conversation was about ping pong. Ping pong's not easy. Table tennis. And this is what they said. Dad, I beat you. Don't you remember the Rayman spin ball? Ray, I learned to play in Korea from Koreans. Do you think some punk kid's going to actually beat me? No, Dad, you were trying to win. You were sweating and panting. I'm a damn fine actor. Not too easy. Let's go to the top. Dad, I beat you. I beat you. We say it quick. I beat you. I beat you. So, I beat you. Chew. It's basically C-H-E-W. I beat you. I beat you. I defeated you. I won. We cannot say, I win you. I won you. No, no, no. I won. I won the game. But we cannot say, I won you. We have to say, I defeated you. I beat you. I was victorious over you. I beat you. Dad, I beat you. I beat you. And he's referring to a ping pong game many years ago when Ray was just a little boy. Him and his father played ping pong, and Ray won. 
He was the victor. He was victorious. Don't you remember? Don't you. Oh, once again, T-Y, don't chew. We can say chew. Don't chew. Don't chew. Don't you remember the Rayman spin ball? Don't you remember the something something? In this case, Rayman spin ball. I put big R and big S. I capitalized the R and the S because it's a name. So let's talk about another sport. Do you know basketball? In basketball we shoot baskets. But there's a special shot. The shoom dunk shot. Don't you remember the dunk shot? Don't you remember the special special something something? The Rayman spin ball I don't know, but I'm guessing when Ray was playing ping pong, when I play ping pong, it's tuck, 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 tuck. But some people who are good, it's like, shoom, shoom. And they, they use their racket and they twist it like this. And then the ball spins. And when it lands on the table, shoom, bring. It goes not straight, but shoom, pew, to a different angle. Very difficult to hit a spin ball. So in tennis, we have a spin ball. And in ping pong, shoom, you can have a spin ball. So the Ray Man, Ray is his name. The Ray Man, he's a little child, but he thinks of himself as a man. The Ray Man spin ball. Dad, I beat you. Don't you remember the Rayman spin ball? Say it with me. Dad, I beat you. Don't you remember the Rayman spin ball? And the dad says, Ray, I learned to play. Learned to. Now the word to, the faster we say it, it changes to t or d. In this case, Learn to play. Learn to play. These sounds connect and it sounds like a d. Just a d. D. I learned to play. I learned to play. I learned to play in Korea. Korea. No, we say Korea. 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 Ray, I learned to play in Korea. Why is that important? Well, if you know about ping pong, Korea is a very powerful country. Also, we can think of China and probably many other countries too, but many Korean and Chinese people are really, really good at ping pong. So dad is saying, Ray, I learned to play ping pong, table tennis in Korea. I learned from the best people. That's like my basketball. I learned to play basketball from Michael Jordan. Don't talk to me about basketball. My coach was Michael Jordan. Golf? I learned to play golf from Tiger Woods. Don't talk to me about golf. I learned from Tiger. And your English? English? I learned my English from Coach Shane. Don't talk to me about English. <laughs> That's the idea. So, I learned to play in Korea from Koreans. Now, here, Korea, Korea, but here, Koreans. There's more of an O sound because he's emphasizing. So, the perfect pronunciation, Korea, Koreans. But here, he wants to emphasize Korean people because they're experts at ping pong. So he says it more clear. From Koreans. Do you think, do you think some punk kids, some punk kids, K's connect. Do you think some punk kid is gonna, gonna, Gonna? No. Gonna. Do you think some punk kid's gonna? 
Do you think some punk kid's gonna actually beat me? Actually? No. Actually. 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 Do you think some punk kid's gonna actually beat me? Do you think some punk kid's gonna actually defeat me? Now, a kid would be a child. A kid could be from three years old all the way up to 10, 11, 12, 13 years old. But if I were really old, like I'm 45, 44, 45, and if I see a 23-year-old boy, I can still call him a kid. But usually, kid refers to, let's say, 4 years old to 13 years old. Especially 4 years old to 13 years old. So punk means a child who has no real lessons of life. Somebody who has maybe no manners, they think they're very mature, but they're nothing. A punk is nothing. Don't get confused with punk rock. But punk rock means anti-establishment, anti-government, and the youth power and anarchy. That's the idea for punk rock. It's similar, a punk kid. He's just a punk. Ignore him. He doesn't know anything. Do you think some punk kid is going to actually beat me? Come on, I learned from Koreans. No little punk kid is going to beat me. No, Dad. No, Dad. You were trying. Trying? No, we say try un. 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 So it's, it's hard to spell. It's a schwa sound. Uh. Uh. Trying. Trying. No, Dad. You were trying to win. Trying to? No, trying to. You were trying to win. No, Dad. You were trying to win. You wanted to win. You were sweating. Sweating. Now, perfect pronunciation. Sweating. And especially for Americans, sweating. But when we say it really fast, we say sweat mm. Now notice my tongue sweat. My tongue goes to the top and it stops. It doesn't move. Sweat mm. Keep your tongue in the upper position. Sweatin, sweatin, no. Sweatin, sweatin. This is called a glottal stop sound. And there are many words, especially T-I-N-G, that use that sound. Sweatin, gettin, getting, gettin, wanting, wantin. But other words also like nothing, nothing, something, something. Yes, there's that sound too. We'll study in the future. You were sweatin'. Sweat. Sweat was coming down his face. You were sweating. And pantin. Pantin. He said pantin. So, the perfect word, panting. A little bit faster, American style. Panting. 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 Glottal stop. Pantin. 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 But Ray said pantin. You were pantin. So, He's emphasizing the word by saying it longer. Pantin. Longer. Pantin. You were sweating. A and pantin. What does panting mean? Sweating. Brrr, all the sweat is coming down. Panting. <laughs> sweating is breathing. I'm sorry. Panting is breathing very hard. You were sweating and panting. And finally, the father says, I'm a damn fine actor. I'm a, I'm a damn fine actor. 
Grammatically, it should be, I'm a damned fine actor. People might want to say that. But in daily English, in spoken English, there's no ED. I'm a damn fine actor. I'm a really good actor. Wow, tonight's dinner was so delicious. That was a damn fine meal. Wow, today's weather is beautiful. Today is a damn fine day. So damn usually has a negative meaning. But when we connect it with fine, it emphasizes really, really good. Wow, today's lesson was a damn fine lesson. A very good lesson. Now, do not use this expression at the office. To your boss, do not say, Boss, this is a damn fine company. Boss, that was a damn fine presentation. Don't say that. But maybe on the golf course, Wow, that was a damn fine shot. That's possible. So in a casual situation, especially with your friends, you can use this expression. But in a casual situation, my recommendation is not to use it. Because damn does have a strong meaning. So instead of damn fine, you can say, I'm a really good actor. I'm a really good actor. So the father was acting about trying to win and sweating and panting. He was just acting. Actually, it was easy to defeat Ray. So Ray's very sad. It's actually a very funny situation comedy. And there's a lot of great things to learn. Okay, so I want you to listen to the original dialogue two more times and try to practice the pronunciation, the speed, okay? It's not easy. Dad, I beat you. Don't forget body language. Dad, I beat you. Don't you remember the Rayman spinball? Frey, I learned to play in Korea from Koreans. Do you think some punk kid's going to actually beat me? No, Dad. You were trying to win. You were sweating and panting. I'm a damn fine actor. Dad, that's not nice. All right, listen again. Then we're going to move to Daily Dictation 45, which is the beginner level. It's going to be easier. Good luck. Dad, I beat you. Don't you remember the Ray Man spin ball? <laughs> Ray, I learned to play in Korea. From Koreans. <laughs> You think some punk kid's gonna actually beat me? <laughs> no, Dad, you were trying to win. You were sweating and panting. I'm a damn fine actor. <laughs> Dad, I beat you. Don't you remember the Ray Man spin ball? <laughs> Ray, I learned to play in Korea. <laughs> From Koreans. <laughs> you think some punk kid's gonna actually beat me? <laughs> no, Dad, you were trying to win. You were sweating and panting. I'm a damn fine actor. <laughs> okay, Daily Dictation 45 is from another sitcom, Seinfeld. This is a very short sentence, only five words, but not everybody can hear it. So if you could hear it in one go, excellent job. If it takes two times, very good. Three times, not bad. That's okay. Four times, five times, keep practicing. It's a question, and it's a question we use every day. Most people, I think, use the question almost every day. What is it? Good luck, and I'll say hi to all the new YouTube watchers after DD45. Hey, is it cold out? Hey, is it cold out? Hey, is it cold out? 
Hey, is it cold out? Okay, once again, Happy New Year to everybody. And we have many new family members, 30, over 30 people. So let me begin by saying hello to Fuldes Janos. Fulde Janos. Fuldes Janos from Hungary. Welcome to the channel. Happy New Year. Milan Jack. Milan Jack. Milan Jack. Milan Jack from Slovakia. Ismas Paros. Ismas Paros. Ismas Paros. From Brazil. Obrigado. Victoria Vorantzova. Victoria Vorantzova. From Israel. Nice to meet you. Shaima Hafazi. Shaima Hafazi. I'm sorry about the pronunciation. From Egypt. I love, I would love to go to Egypt, see the pyramids and the Sphinx. Mm. From Cambay 76, is it Cambay? 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 Maybe Cambay. Cambay 76 from the U.S. Yes, zero. Yes, zero. Yes, zero. What does this mean? From Saudi Arabia. Thank you. Welcome. Jung Tabi. Is it Jang Tabi or Jang Tobi 811 from the US? I believe this person might be Korean. If so, Pangap Smita. Sunmi Lee! Along Lee, also from Korea. Pangap Smita. 1138. Levin or Levin? 1138 from Georgia. Very nice to meet you. Uh, Tais Perolo. Thais Perolo. That's probably terrible pronunciation. I apologize. From Venezuela. Venezuela. Nice to meet you. Thais Perolo. IA Productions. IA Productions. From Canada. IA stands for Isaac Amoa. Is it Isaac or Isaac? Amoa. Amoa. And I believe this guy or woman, guy I guess, is from Ghana. Is that correct? Uh, and he specializes in... Gospel music, I'm guessing. Anyway, nice to meet you, I Productions. Who is this from Korea? You so great, Shane. You so great, Shane. Is your is your English name Shane? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> nice to meet you. C C X Kayank. C C X Kayank. C C X Kayank. From Hong Kong. I believe C C's birthday was a couple of days ago, December twenty seventh. Happy birthday. And uh, nice, to, nice to meet you. Welcome to the channel. Moaker, Moaser, Moaser two, Moaker two, also from Brazil. This man is an English teacher in Brazil. So if you are Brazilian, like Ismas Paros, you might want to check out Moaser's two channel. He has a good channel and a very good lesson about New Year's resolutions. So you can check out his channel too. Moasir too. Thank you for joining. Leo Power Batera. Leo Power Batera. From Portugal. From Portugal. But he describes himself as a Brazilian drummer. A Brazilian drummer. Cool. So Leo Power Batera. I'm wondering, does Batera mean drummer in Portuguese? Hmm. Obrigado. TKTYF10 from Russia. I believe this person's name is Elena. Elena, nice to meet you from Russia. Chanho183 from Korea. Pangasmida Chano. Is it Pak Chano? I wonder. From Spain, we have Alp Kosok. Alp Kosok. A L P C O S S O C. Alp Kosok from Spain. Nice to meet you. Gracias. Mucho gracias for joining my channel. From India, GDMP 2007. Nice to meet you, GDMP 2007. Maruo 99. Maruo 99. I do not know what country you're from, but welcome to the channel. Again from Spain, Kemi XXXXX. Kemi XXXXX. Nice to meet you, Kemi XXXXX. From the US, we have Ayaya Ayaya Rute, Ayaya Rute. 
This person might be originally from Ethiopia, I'm guessing. Nice to meet you, Ayayarute. From Japan. <gasps> Nandeska. Rosie. 3P0, Rosie 3P0, nice to meet you. From Poland, we have Radek also from Poland, but now we have Marek to Abel. Marek to Abel. And I notice that you are a David Icke and Duncan in China fan. Me too, cool. From the US, we have Mr. Lobip. Mr. Lobip or Lobip? I apologize if my pronunciation is wrong. Welcome. Again from Egypt, Tarek Al Latif. Tarek Al Latif, welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining. From the US, Jonathan Mysterio. Cool name, Jonathan Mysterio. I believe he's originally from Arequipa, Peru. And Arequipa is a city, the second largest city in Peru. And they have a volcano which gives off white rocks. So the city's nickname is the White City. It looks beautiful. It's very high. The altitude is 2,335 meters. Wow. Very high. Welcome to the channel. Michelle Jung 86 from the US. Michelle Jung Pangapsmida. From Japan again. MM Tubfer. MM Tubfer. <laughs> That's a cool name too. Welcome to the channel. From the UK, Great Britain, MRPHG 1983. Murford, Murford 1983, nice to meet you. And from the Netherlands, Sardan Napolo. Sardan Napolo, Sardan Napolo, welcome very much to the channel. I'd love to go to the Netherlands too. All of your countries, if I could visit, I'd be so happy. Thank you very much for joining the channel. And tell your friends, let's get more to join, and I'll see you next lesson. Bye-bye.